Okay, here we are. We have our kitchen table loaded with lots of meat and some veggies and freezer cooking supplies. And I am attempting to do 25 meals for the next approximate five weeks for my slow cooker. I use the slow cooker a lot, but I would love to be able to open my freezer and have five weeks worth of meals just ready to go. That would be wonderful. So a few things to know. My husband, is uh, he does more of low carb eating and I do Trim Healthy Mama, which has some lower carb elements to it, especially for the S meals. And I have more information on all of that linked in the article of the description of this video. So I am doing five weeks of meals, and I'll be popping in and out with this video to show you how we're coming along, also exactly what those meals are. Okay, Liam is the pepper washing machine, right Liam? Uh -huh. We have mommy? several recipes. Love you too, Gaby. Several recipes. Go slow, honey. Okay. We're not getting water. Several recipes for our slow cooker that have peppers in them, right Liam? Uh -huh. And it's a snow day here, so Liam has just stayed in his jammies. Woohoo! Uh -huh. And in our slow cooker right now, we have our meatball lasagna going. Uh -huh. And Liam is washing these peppers for some other recipes. Okay, so we are not even quite to the middle of our first official slow cooker freezer meal day. And right now I am labeling bags like a wild woman. I just bought us a new eight quart crock pot and the way that my math is working in my head is for each meal that I do, I need two one gallon bags of that meal for one dinner in the crock pot and Liam is agreeing with me. Um, what I did, since this is the first time I've done this for the freezer first and then the crock pot, is I, I went through online and I found 10 meals that I felt I could easily adapt for our family and even if they weren't promoted as slow cooker meals, I felt I could make them into slow cooker meals easily. So I found those 10 meals and then I've got enough supplies to make each of those 10 meals twice. So that's 20 meals. And then when I was looking at the calendar, I realized I needed meals for the last week of January and also for the four weeks in February. Now hold on a minute for real life, Liam. I am so glad you're agreeing with everything that I'm saying but listening to your noise makes it so I forget what I'm trying to tell these mommies. Well, 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 I'm trying to do... You are being a good encourager. Can because, you? Because, well, I'm trying to say, and what I'm trying to say is, when you're doing, whenever time you're doing that, uh -huh. I do... Mm -hmm. I know, you're agreeing with me, and I like that, uh -huh. but I need you to stop that so I can remember, or I'm going to forget and tell them to put something wrong in their food. Because these mommies are watching this because they either like to mo watch mommy make a mess or they might be learning how to put their food in the freezer too. Okay, so let's see, what was I saying? Looking at the calendar, I realized I needed to make enough meals until my <laughs> next once a month grocery shopping day, which we've been doing that for years. And there was, there's one full week left in January and then I have four full weeks in February. So really I needed enough, um, enough freezer meals for the slow cooker for five weeks. So my mad scientist plan is I picked out my 10 meals and I make, I'm doubling those. So we'll have those two times throughout the month. That's 20 meals. And then I had enough in my freezers already poking around for two additional recipes that I'm going to double. So that'll be 24 meals. And then I'm hoping I can squeeze out a 25th meal with what I have left over after all of this. I'll let you know. By doing it that way, we will have slow cooker meals for five nights a week, five times out of seven. And then we will have one breakfast for dinner night every week, and we will have one leftover night. 
We're going to do the breakfast for dinner nights on Wednesdays now because my husband, he can, he can fry some eggs and make some pancakes for the kids. And Wednesday is a day that I've been working on an extra project for work lately. And then Saturday is my other day when I have a long work day. And I thought that would be a great leftover night. And heaven help us, if we don't have a leftover, the kids can make some sandwiches that night. They'll be okay. So this is how far we've gotten. Um, let me tell you a little bit about what is on this table. We have, oh, I believe this is 30 pounds of chicken. Let me double check that. Yes, we have 30 pounds of chicken. We have some sweet Italian sausage. I have um, about how many pounds? Show me the pounds. Probably about eight pounds of beef pork, beef tips. I have a large pork, oh, pork sirloin here to be cut up. Yeah. We have a ham. We have a bag of meatballs. Uh, my other bag of meatballs I used, oh yes, the other bag of meatballs I used, um, I have a recipe for meatball lasagna that I've adapted. We're having that tonight. And oh, you'll see all kinds of other, other odds and ends. Pepperonis, cheese, lots of broccoli. We're doing probably, probably eight of the meals or so we're all going to have broccoli and that's a family favorite. Um, Zion has been my happy chopper. Yay, Zion. And he's been chopping peppers for some various recipes. These are just bell peppers. And, I'm and oh, and Liam, now this, moms, you want to know about keeping your little ones busy while you're having your freezer cooker day? Liam, ha we have cut the tops off of all the peppers and given him the seeds. So while Zion has been chopping, Liam has been helping picking all the seeds out of all the peppers. Right, Liam? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Um, another thing we did is we kind of slowly prepared this morning. I've dragged the meat out. We've gotten other supplies out. I've gone over my recipes. You go this way, honey, so you don't trip over the wire. I've gone over my recipes, and we did a lot of that while Amelia was up. Amelia is our child who's about to be two in a, in a week and a half, I believe, two weeks. So I put her down for her nap. And once she went down for her nap, which we were really busy, and we, we all, no, not in this room, honey. I want you to go to the bathroom and wash your hands. Not in here. Do we put that on your toe? We put her down for her nap because Liam is four. He's the other wild card, but I can handle him pretty much. But I thought, okay, the two-year-old, she can go down for her nap, and that way we can really work on getting these bags filled. So my goal is before she gets up with her nap today, that we will have 25 meals bagged and ready to go. And again, all I, my plan, my plan is I'm gonna take two of these out, set them in the refrigerator the night before from the freezer, and then in the morning, I'm going to dump them in the crock pot for the day, and we'll have dinner that night. Uh, my husband, I've mentioned, he's doing more of a low carb thing, and I've been doing Trim Healthy Mama for about a year, lost 30 pounds so far, and had a baby. And um, so all of the meals are low carb and Trim Healthy Mama inspired, even if they're not from the Trim Healthy Mama cookbook. Um, they should all count as S meals. Now, some of the, the kids, of course, need more carbs. So several of the meals I have planned that they're going to have it over brown rice or brown rice on the side. We also have large baked potatoes they can have. Um, when I do things like the meatball lasagna, I'm just going to do some whole wheat noodles and they can have that on top of the noodles. Um, what else? I have some quinoa that I can have as a side with uh, my meals if they're not, um, some of the meals like the sausage and the peppers, I can have that with quinoa on the side and that would be an e-meal for those who are doing Trim Healthy Mama. So that's it. We will continue to video throughout our mess. Okay, what you see in front of us here is my makes total sense to me dry erase board for February. This is for our family calendar. Um, you'll see Wednesdays and Saturdays in blue. I have my work day written on there. That's just to remind me at a glance what I have going on. But this is just our family calendar. And honestly, the we really don't have that much happening. Most of what you're looking at is our meal, our dinner meal plan for the month. Um, in green, you will see those are things when we have to actually go. We have a family visitor. 
My husband and I teach Financial Peace University on Tuesday nights. We have our homeschool group and a hunting show. Of course, once a month grocery shopping day, those kind of things, but really not too much, which for the middle of winter, that's just fine with me. Um, and don't be scared. You see the last week of the month that has, it ends at the 28th and it starts again on Sunday on the 25th. That's the last week of January that I've left up on the calendar just for the meal plan because it, January is almost over and then starting at the top, we go through February. So I just wanted to show you at a glance how I plan our slow cooker freezer meal dinners. So far I have just put for Wednesdays, that's our breakfast for dinner night because that's when I'm working all day. And then Saturdays, since I work all day, then also is just a leftover night. That makes it really easy for my husband who's in charge those two days also. Uh, we have Amelia's birthday on February 9th, so of course for that day we have birthday pizza. And then on the 23rd of February, when I hope for us to do our shopping again, that's an eat out day. We will probably be the large family eating for less than $30 at Costco. Um, let me look here and see if there's anything else you could possibly want to know about my silly menu. What I am working with is 24 recipes over the next five weeks. I went through the math of that because I actually have 25 meals planned for five weeks. And I have just kind of scrambled them up through the calendar. Um, going over the next week, the last week in January when I'm planning this, we have beef and broccoli on Sunday, Mexican chicken on Monday, sausage and peppers on Tuesday, breakfast for dinner on Wednesday, chicken fajitas on Thursday, broccoli, ham and cheese on Friday, and Saturday's leftovers. And then going to the first week in February, we have honey, mustard, pork on Sunday. We have pepperoni and chicken for Monday, chicken gourd blue for Tuesday, breakfast for dinner on Wednesday, sausage and peppers Thursday, broccoli, ham and cheese on Friday, and leftovers. And I didn't mean to schedule those two broccoli, ham and cheeses so close, but that's just how it worked out. And then we start again the following week. So 